Hey, how do you know how to choose a man to lead you? Good question. How do you know how to choose a man to lead you? Because you I just mean, sat up there and said. I mean, you don't. You know, if you get to you don't. a brother, you know what I'm saying? Of course, okay, I'm, you know, the man seven. becomes the head of the household. And if he's leading in the right direction, of course. Great. Start in verse 16. Well, look, first and foremost, I'm going to tell y'all this. When you go back into ancient times, I ain't going to even say, I say ancient times. The women never chose their man. Your father, your father always chose a man for you. He chose a husband for you. You know what I'm saying? The Christian church, when the white man taught us Christianity, their boyfriend and girlfriend stuff came into play. Now, look, this I'm going to show you how you know a man that can lead. Listen to this, read Matthew chapter 7 and verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. You're going to know them by their fruits, by their works. You're going to know about their works. Read them. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Nope. Every, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. So this is how you know how to choose a man to lead. It say every good tree, read, bringeth forth good fruit. Bring forth good fruit. The tree represents man right here. Right. Every good man gonna bring forth good what, sis? Works. works. Yes. That's what the fruit's talking about. His fruit's gonna be good works. Or you can talk about the fruit of the spirit. Read on. Yes. But a corrupt tree. It said, but a corrupt tree. A corrupt man, read. Bringeth forth evil fruit. He said gonna bring forth evil fruit. Now I'm gonna ask you this. If a man in a gang, is that a corrupt tree or a good tree? That's a corrupt tree. But guess what our sisters do? But listen to it. Guess what our sisters do? Our sisters sit up there, they go get and lay down with gang members. Simple as that. It's a corrupt tree gonna bring forth corrupt fruit. If a man smoke weed, or smoke cigarettes, or pop, or do any type of drug, is that a corrupt tree or a good tree? Bring it out. No, no, that's a corrupt tree. That's a corrupt tree. Now look, no, no, check this out. Now this finna get me into, give me that Ecclesiastes chapter 26. You know what I'm saying? Now look, now you finna, hey, I'm glad you said that because it's finna take me over to here. And see, that's why y'all keep getting tricked. A corrupt tree, look, a man, a, a, a good man ain't gonna defile his temple. Why? Because the most I sit up there and say, this, this, a good man understand that his body is the temple of God. And God said, whosoever defiled the temple of God shall be destroyed. If you sitting up here, if you choosing men, listen to me, sis, and this is where y'all keep going wrong at. If you choosing men that defiling their temples, doing things that was taught to us by another nation of people. Another nation of people taught us how to get weed and roll it up and smoke a joint. That was called hippies back in the day. Next thing you know, with a black man, we going around now talking about we smoking a joint. We didn't graduate from uh, joints to blacks. Now, who started smoking hookah first? Was it the black man sitting around with a damn hookah smoking it first, or was it white men it smoking was hookah? Arab sitting around with it. it was actually white men. I'm gonna tell you what they used to call it before they called it a hookah. What did they used to call it a bomb? They used to call it a bomb. They got a whole move about it with teeth and toe. The point is what I'm trying to sit up. Listen to me. Understand this, sis. I want that about uh, a good woman is getting to Portia as a good man. Get that for me. Look. Understand this, sis. I'm telling you. The things that we learn, we learn from our oppressors. You know what I'm saying? Look, if you want to sit up there and be able to choose a good man, you need to know if that tree corrupt or not. That's right. And, you, and how do you know when a tree is corrupt and going to bring forth good fruit? I'm going to show you. It's not the point of... And, all, and you doing right. You doing right, sis. Just like the brother said earlier today. Oh, Look, listen to this. See, I want to get to this, because from what she said, read. Sirach 26, 23. A wicked woman is given as portion to a wicked man. So if you had a wicked man for 28 years, what is God saying about you, sis? Bring it out. Oh. Okay, I right, know, but look, okay. That... It wasn't wicked in the beginning, sir. You know, okay. started off night. Started off, so you got tricked. This man came to me and I, you know, gave him a chance. Right track. I understand. We had three kids together, uh -huh. married through 28 years. Okay. But as the world kept winding, I kept Well, uh, hold on. Go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter, what I'm on, uh, 7. And I kept seeing. Listen to this. More and more of a wicked world. But listen to this, sir. Uh, listen yes. to this. Listen to this. So you said you was married, right? 28 years. Hey, all praise to the most high for that. Now, understand this. 
Read. Troubles in the flesh. First Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 28. But, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she have not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. But I spare you. This is going to be problems in marriage. It's going to be up and down. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be problems in marriage. Sir. Listen, listen, to, and, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you had a corrupt tree. Was he keeping the commandments of God? Because go right back to Ecclesiastes. Well, well, look, but what did you do, though? Because a lot of times we heard the sisters sit up there and talk about the man and what he done, but the women don't never talk about what they did. So you mean to tell me you was the perfect woman in the marriage? That's what you're saying right now. You didn't do nothing. You walked the fight. You was the righteous one. Because I'm going to tell you, listen to me, listen to me. And I ain't, I ain't trying to fear y'all. One of the biggest things that we deal with with our women in our community is they mouth. You sisters, look. What you said. Look, you see that? Sis, look. Look. Guess what? Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, sis. Listen to me. And I'm, look, I'm glad you saying this on camera. So everybody can listen to it. Look, I just did a video about this the other day. I was in the store, minding my own business, me and one of my brothers, sis. And it's, you shouldn't even say that around your daughters. But look, I find out my, my own business, me and my brother. And I hear two sisters, big as hell, talking about how they beat up men. No man, look, men want women that are vulnerable to them. Right. We protect vulnerable women. Right. We'll sit up there and sell the seven seas for a, bro, a vulnerable woman. But listen, yeah. listen, what you say? They say vulnerable women stupid. No, that's what feminists say. Yes. Feminism right. have destroyed the relationship. Why you think the black men don't protect you? Yeah. Because you, you, you no, nah, right? And what else? And what else? And you saying, and you saying you can whoop a man? So if you sitting up there saying you can whoop a man ass, sir. If a dude approach you right now, right, be honest, what would you like, if a dude approach you right now and want to fight you, what would you want to happen? Tell the truth. I'm going to hit his ass. No, no. Okay. So, that, that's crazy to have that say, mindset like that. You still have, look, look listen, listen to me, sir. Listen, I'm listen. Shanika, if a man wants to sit up there and approach you right now, the mindset you're supposed to have is that one of, all these men out here, somebody jump up and protect you. Right. You said you... Sister, y'all can, can't whoop me in. We be look when y'all sit up there. Listen to me, sis. When look, I want y'all to understand this. When y'all attack men or whatever, men let y'all do that shit. Don't you? Don't you know? Don't you know? One damn punch from the right man can sit. I had your ass having a seizure around this chat. But look. Go right back to Sirach. Listen to this. Bring it out, Sirach 26, 23. That's why, and this why you ain't gonna be able to get married until you kill that mindset. Right. You can't have a mindset that you can bow stick his ass like that. Because as soon as you get married and you have a problem with your husband, the first thing you gonna do is you gonna stick him. That's what he gonna do. He gonna leave. He ain't gonna stay around for that, sis. Right. right. No man ain't gonna stay around for that because look, he, 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 he she said she got what? You say he got shot? Who you get shot by, sir? Boy, that beat me. The boy, I beat up. So you said, bah! He said, bah! Oh, no, like, no, okay. Bro, like, oh, okay, I understand. But no, it ain't, it ain't, but it, it ain't funny, though. It ain't funny. But sis, you shouldn't even be going through that. Understand, look, sis, that's a rough-ass lifestyle to live. Men don't want our women like that. We don't want our women to be experience all this goddamn trauma. Right. Because, look, when you experience all this trauma as a woman, it affects this up here. That's why, that's why you got a lot of changing to do, sis. You got a lot of changing to do. Now, look, listen to this. Read. Surah 26, 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. So if you ended up with a wicked man, y'all fighting each other, y'all shooting each other, whatever the hell you could with this going on, y'all uh, committing adultery on each other, fornicating against each other, then what does Bible saying about you? If he was a wicked man, he, you a what? You a wicked woman. You a wicked woman. Read on. But a godly woman is given to him. That feareth the Lord. That godly woman is given to him that fear the Lord. Do y'all know how to fear the Lord? Yeah. How do we fear the Lord, Shanika? I fear the Lord because I don't curse. I don't use curse words. What's the cuss word here? Because a lot of people say cuss. Just, it's, it's say a cuss word curse. real quick. What is cuss word? What is cuss? God damn. Like God damn ain't no cuss word. The white man told you that. <laughs> damn. Look, I'm going to ask you this. What is the root word? Okay, what is the root word of damnation? <laughs> Because that's where the word damn, damn come nation. from. Damnation. That's why when people be like, God be damn. Well, that's damnation right there. 
Them ain't ass ain't cuss words. That's just the donkey. about killing folks and right. then killing their family members right. and then right. they're catching you sliding down. Right. That's cursing right there. Right. Cursing is renouncing some type of evil on somebody. That's yeah, if you come through Obak, I'm going to blow your ass off. That's cursing. Right. Right. So this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. A lot of the stuff that we've been taught, we was taught wrong. Right. You, th you think saying shit is evil, that ain't evil. Thou should not kill. When you gotta kill somebody, that's evil. When you right. gonna steal, that's evil. You fighting a man, and a man fighting you, that's evil right, right. there, sir. Right. You sitting up, yeah, Christmas, that's I, a lot of people sit up there and say, well, why you say don't celebrate birthdays, or keep Christmas, or Thanksgiving and Easter? Because they all idolatry. Yeah. That's it, idolatry is evil. That's what I, people, how people don't understand. But read that again, read. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. You have to say a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. How do we fear the Lord? Give me that Ecclesiastical chapter 2, verse 14. Bring it out. I'm going to show you how, what it means to fear the Lord. So not cussing don't mean you fear the Lord. Buying and selling. If you stop buying and selling on the Sabbath day, stop working on the Sabbath day, we do that because we fear the Lord. Right. Man, I ain't worked on the Sabbath day in probably about 10 years. Why? I fear the Lord. I ain't buying. Why? Because I fear the Lord. I keep his commandments. I'm with my friends. Why? Because I keep the Lord. I try to keep... Uh, no schisms amongst the brotherhood and love my brethren and love my sisters. Why? Because I fear the Lord. We out here right now because we fear the Lord. Look, let's come and pull our brothers and sisters out of repentance over here in this damn place. Because this place is damn. The Lord is going to destroy this place when, uh, when World War III comes. It's going to happen. You, do you think y'all going to live over here forever? Do y'all think the white man going to rule over us forever? The rulership got to change. Read. Sirach chapter 2 and verse 15. They that fear the Lord. When you fear the Lord, understand this, read. Will not disobey his word. When you fear the Lord, you ain't going to disobey his word. God gave us commandments to keep. This Bible, look, we are broken people. The instructions to fix us is right here. Right. A lot of our people, they just want to, they, they just don't want to do it. A lot of our people have been corrupted by the things that's been going on on the internet saying, well, the Bible's the white man book. That's a damn lie. That's and right. then when you, when you ask them to prove that, prove to me the Bible's the white man book, they can't do it. Right. They can't prove that the Bible's the white man book, but the Bible's your history. That's the right. Bible is written, God created you, and he created you and gave you instructions. Right. And these instructions, you go back to, when you become broken, you go back to these instructions to fix yourself. Right. To fix the different things in your house. If you are drunk and you get high all the time, God got the medicine up in here to, right. to make you get over the uh, drunkenness. Right. You know what I'm saying? If, if you a murderer, God got the medicine up in here to make you get over the murder. Right. But our people got to sit up there, they got to repent, and they got to reply the, the, the things that's in the Bible. Finish that up. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him, say they that love him, read, will keep his ways. It will keep his ways. The only way we can sit up here and say we love the Lord. That's what made me repent. Because I, I learned that I was Israelite. I learned that I was Israelite. I knew I was Israel, but I was still whoremongering. I was still smoking weed. I was still doing all selling drugs. I don't matter out here. Right, right. And then I read that scripture and say, man, but if you love the Lord, you're going to do what? You're going to keep his way. That's so right. then I said, you know what? I got to keep the Sabbath if I'm going to say I love the Lord. Right. We can't say we love the Lord and we ain't going to do nothing he say. You got to. And then I'm going to ask you this. Yeah, that's a hypocrite. Because look, how do you prove and show your love to the Lord? Can you give him a hug? Can you shake his hand? Can you give him a gift? What can you do for the Lord to show your love to him? No, it ain't your heart. God wants some action. God wants to see. Yeah, God wants some action. That's the only way you show you love the Lord. I can't give God a hug, but guess what? He said, keep my Sabbath. I can do that. He said, uh, keep my Sabbath. Read. 
Luke 6, 46. And why call ye me, Lord? That's why he said, don't even call me Lord, Lord. Don't say, I love the Lord. I'm here for the Lord. This for the Lord. That for the Lord. Why call me Lord, Lord? Read. And do not the things which I say. And do not the things which I say. Because the Christian church told us that Christ told us we don't have to keep the commandments. Bring it out. But then you go to Matthew 19. Get that real quick. Listen to this. Read. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Look, don't get on down, sis. So see, you got to see. That's what I'm saying. When it comes to the action, the sit up there to say you love the Lord. And that's another thing, too, sis. Be aware of women that have been in long marriages and shit and sit up there and say, oh, well, he was this and he was that, he was that. But then when you act, oh, what the hell you do? Crickets? You don't hear nothing. You don't know what the hell they done. Why? A lot of these older women, they have made poor decisions and mistakes. Right. Like, all of us have made poor decisions and mistakes. Right. And because they make decisions and mistakes, they sit up there and tell younger women, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. No, hell no. So, the scriptures say marriage is honorable and all right. in the bed. Under the nation. nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with roles.